Vice President Lenny Robredo asked her supporters that we need to accept the decision of the majority. Sorry, it's DJ. Hello guys, magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Ngayon po ay May 24, 2022, siyempre. Ayun, kamis na lang mga katsitsa. Ah, ah, tawag ito. Thank you po sa ano, sa nag-subscribe, yung mga support ulit sa akin. Dahil umabot na po sa 900 subscriber, 905 subscriber. Konting-konti na lang po. Maabot na natin yung 1,000 subscriber na uh, ang tangin ni YouTube. Yung requirements ni YouTube para ma-monetize tayo. So, mga katitya, please like, share, and subscribe. Salamat po. Siya, patuloy natin yung yung topic ko ngayon. Ngayong araw na to kasi, ang araw ng Joint Congress and Senate ng ano, tawag gan? Yung canvas ng canvasing ng presidential and vice president vice president sa nagagawin ngayon. So, nagsimula na ang pagbibilang sa Congress. Gawin, ano. Pero, may kung good news, may may good news, may good news tayo kasi <clears throat> yung Tony ni BP Lenny Robledo ay nagsalita na na ang sabi niya is no objection to inclusion of the canvas of the vice canvas proceeding sabi niya so panunukulin natin yung sinabi niya Sinabi niya yung bagay yung magsimula yung canvas ng Senate tsaka ng Congress. So ngayon continue ang pagbibilang nila. So ngayon panonuri natin. Ayan mga katitya. Seryos tayo masyado ngayon. <laughs> Ito yung panonuri muna natin. Yung sinabi ni uh, attorney ng Vice President Lenny Robledo na si attorney Makalinta. Our Vice President and Candidate Ong Willy, Attorney Juanito Arcilia. Your Honor, please. Attorney Manza Luis Chavez. And I also acknowledge the presence of Commissioner Marlon Casquejo of Comelec. Your Honors. Commissioner, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with the permission of my co-chair, we'd like to recognize Attorney Makalinta. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, with the permission of this honorable body, I'd like to make a short manifestation on behalf of Vice President Lenny Robredo. Your Honors, in her public statement, Vice President Lenny Robredo asked her supporters that we need to accept the decision of the majority. Sinabi niya, bagaman may hindi pa nabibilang, bagaman may mga tanong ukol sa eleksyon na ito na kailangang matugunan, palinaw na ng palinaw ang tinig ng taong bayan. Sa ngala ng Pilipinas, na alam kong mahal na mahal rin ninyo, kailangan nating pakinggan ang tinig na ito. Dahil sa huli, iisa lang naman ang bayang pinagsasaluhan natin. Habang lumilinaw na ang litrato, 
kailangan nating simulan tanggapin na hindi ayon sa mga pangarap natin ang resulta ng eleksyon. She said, we need to accept the majority's decision. And so, Your Honors, consistent with such pronouncements by Vice President Lenny Robredo, and so as not to delay the proceedings of this board, we would like to make of record our continuing manifestation that we interpose no objection to the inclusion in the canvas of all the certificates of canvas for president from the various provincial and city boards of canvassers found by this honorable board to be authentic and duly executed in accordance with Section 20 of Republic Act 7166. And with that continuing manifestation, Your Honors, May we, may we be allowed to respectfully waive our appearance before this joint committee to further expedite its proceedings. And finally, on a personal note, in, in any competition or contest, I am always guided by this very meaningful short prayer entitled, The Prayer of Sportsman. This was composed by the late American poet, Burton Braley, and I quote, Dear Lord, if I should win, let it be by the code with my faith and my honor held high. And if I should lose, let me stand by the road and cheer as the winners go by. Maraming pong salamat. Pagpalain po tayo ng pong may kapal at ang ating bansa. We would like to thank the Council of uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo for your magnanimity on this uh, electoral contest and uh, we wish the Vice President well. May we recognize also our the Council of uh, Presumptive President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We join in the manifestation of uh, my distinguished colleague and one of the leading election law practitioner, Attorney Romulo, Romulo Romy Mac Macalintal. And likewise, we would like to recognize and thank the patriotism exhibited by Vice President Lenny Robredo for expressly recognizing the integrity and the result of the recently concluded general elections. Thank you very much, gentlemen. At least now we can let the healing begin and uh, we can set aside politics. Uh, thank you, my co-chair. Would you like to manifest? Again, I join my uh, co-chair in expressing uh, deep gratitude and appreciation on behalf of um, both houses and the Filipino people for the graciousness of the Vice President and for the sportsmanlike conduct of her council in the person of Attorney Romy Makalintal, as well as the magnanimity of our President-elect Bongbong Marcos has articulated by his able, presumptive executive secretary, Attorney Victor Rodriguez. Indeed, the theme of the unit team begins to pervade in the country. The healing has begun. Let us unite as a nation for and by the Filipino people. Marami salamat. Good afternoon, Your Honors. May I be recognized? I'm Attorney Rizalina V. Lumbera. Counsel for candidate Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso. On behalf of the presidential candidate Francisco Isco Moreno Domagoso, we interpose no objection in the inclusion of all the COCs in the canvas for the position of the president. We recognize the integrity of the 2022 national and local elections. Maraming salamat po. And again, on behalf of 
Francisco Isco Moreno Dumagoso. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po to the Council of uh, Presidential Candidate uh, Mayor Isco Moreno for that uh, message. And uh, we take note and we thank the good gentleman from Manila for his uh, graciousness in this uh, period where we need to heal the country and unite as a people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Attorney. Thank you very much. Uh, in behalf of uh, the presumptive president, we would like to uh, thank the, uh, the counsel of uh, Attorney Isco Moreno, Attorney Risali Lumbera, for uh, recognizing the uh, integrity and uh, orderly conduct of the recently concluded election. We thank you and we hope that the uh, unit team will be able to uh, perform its uh, mandated task in uniting the Filipino people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So may we proceed? Uh, let us proceed. Ayan mga katitya, napanood ka na yung statement and the manifestation pala ni Atomi Maglintan. Maroon na ako mag-ano, report. Ma'am, ano ba? So, tuloy natin. Yun nga, yung kanyang manifestation yung at ni Atomi BP Rumbledo na si Atomi Maglintan. So, ibig sabihin na tanggap na ng kampo ni Vice President na yung hato ng bayan. So, inihimok kong mapansin yung sinabi niya ni ni, ni ato ni Maklintal sa statement niya. Inihimok niya ni Vice President yung mga supporter na tanggapin yung sitwasyon na mas gusto nang nakakarami ng Pilipino na si presumptive tama ka presumptive president Bongbong Marcos ang nanalo so yun lang nabigyan ko lang ng vlog niya at ayun dito ko na natapusin hihintay na lang natin yung yung official proclamation ng congress join senate and congress na sa canvassing ngayon so ang ganda dito po mga katitya take two po please road to 1000 na po less na 100 na lang yung subscriber 1000 na tayo So, thank you po. Magandang gabi sila. Magandang araw. Salamat po.